guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to upload this a day early. I still will have a video for you guys on Tuesday, but I just kind of wanted to do a little collab of different things. Okay, so this title is like really weird, but anyways, so I'm going to put in a mini Dollar Tree haul what the heck happened and is this new i know it seems really weird but it's gonna all make sense so to start off with the mini dollar tree haul i i intentionally okay there's been a lot of talk on you know youtube about like milani eyeshadows and stuff like you know everybody seems to be on the hunt luckily i have found um powder eyeshadows on milani i really haven't found anything else i mean if i found a few of their liquid eyeliners um but that's about it and i thought I thought the hunt was done. I thought, you know, like all Milani stuff is just ripped out. You know, like we're done, we're done doing Milani. And um, I was just going to Dollar Tree casually just to like look around just at random things. And you know, me being me, I had to walk by the makeup section and guess what I found? I found some, oh, that one's upside down. I found some Milani eyeshadow sticks, like the shadow eyes. These are like dupes for Urban Decay's like 24 seven, you know, shadow sticks. But, uh, I don't even know what's on it. Don't, don't worry about it. But anyways, this one is an aquatic style. This one is in Plum Amour. This one is in Espresso line. It's a deep, just espresso, obviously. And then this one is in Royal Purple. And I this one right, right here, this is a Royal Purple. And these are so pretty. And they're so creamy. Like, you would think of the Dollar Tree, they'd kind of be dried up or chalky or something. But like this... It's gorgeous. Look at that purple. That is so pretty. And purple is my favorite color, as you know. Um, this one is Espresso Line. It's just a rich um, brown. This is like kind of a satiny matte brown. The purple is more of like a satin shimmer purple. Um, let's go with Aquatic Style, which I am wearing today, and I absolutely love it. But I wore this as a base and used one of my L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows over top but these work great as a base and eyeliner and actual eyeshadow oh this is so pretty you guys look at the blue how pretty is that I love that and then last one is plum amour I, and plum is a very pretty like satiny plum I don't know if you can see that let's see oh there we go it's that one right there but anyway um, yeah, so those are the eyeshadow sticks. That's just like my little mini Dollar Tree haul. Alright, let's get to the what happened. Alright, I love wearing falsies. I'm not wearing any today. It's a casual day, you know, got my card again on. But I noticed everybody raves about duo eyelash adhesive. Like the, why did I say duo uh, eyelash glue? Duo eyelash glue. And this is in the dark tone. I have had three tubes of this. I don't know why I keep buying it. Maybe I thought because the first tube just didn't work and there was like something wrong with the actual product. Everybody's saying dual glue is the best. I'm gonna use dual glue, da, da 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 But I'm like, every time I put it on my lashes, I let it get tacky. You know, sometimes I'll like shake it up just in case, you know, something like it just separated or something. Let it get tacky. It never gets tacky. I've tried it with different, all kinds of different eyelashes. Um, I, thought, I thought at first maybe it was just a strip on the eyelashes, you know, it just wasn't working very well with them. They were too thin, too thick, too blah, 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 blah. I can't figure it out, you guys. Can, it does Can anybody else have problems with or this? video response or something message me? I don't even care. But let me know. Like, seriously, I have no clue. If any of you guys have these problems, let me know. Because I don't want to feel alone in this world. So, and next, uh, this. What is this? This is the last word. Like, well, dude, is this new? Um, I don't know. Have you guys seen this before? This is the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. And it, well, it says new, but I don't know how long it's been out. I've never seen this. I constantly go to drugstores, stores, um, Ulta. I have never seen this. Ever. I don't know, and I've never even seen a commercial for it, because, you know, Maybelline's, Maybelline's on top of their commercials, and I have never seen a commercial for this and I was like what what was it what what is this and um it says it camouflages imperfections in dark circles full coverage high resistance undetectable finish I did use this I love it <laughs> I have gone to Ulta and have bought 
other luxury brand of high intense, you know, very camouflaging concealers because they do have very, very dark circles under my eyes, but it's really hard to go to the drugstore and find a good high coverage because it's either too thick, too creamy, too, it's not going to set, it crumples off, it gets oily, you know, different things like that. Like so many products and brands have like tried it, you know, to make a heavy concealer that actually works this works. Maybelline is really ha has always been on top of their products. I haven't had many bad products by Maybelline or any complaints about them, but again, not being endorsed or sponsored. But um yeah, I it's just seriously a video. I just I don't know. I was just like, you know, I'm just really pumped today and I want to make a video and upload it early, but there will be one tomorrow cuz Tuesday and Saturday are the days that I normally upload and I'm really excited. So, yeah. That's just my video. Uh, social media is down below, you guys. And uh, yeah, love you guys, and I'll see you really soon. Mwah. Bye.